a seeking for more emotion in her work. Beth Ames Swartz uses art as a model for human behavior, creating disorder by mutilation and destruction by fire. Then, a rebirth, a reordering. Here's the beginning of a composition. After the mutilation, which is a form of disordering, I fire the mutilations. And then I finally reorder uh, after the disordering or the death and the firing. I start to use glue and the natural elements around my home, uh, the earth. And then I use paint and, and layers and layers of paper. And I work outside for over a month until they're finished. In a sense, when I burnt away a lot of my past, I brought forward the things that I needed for the new life or the rebirth. So in many ways, I feel I've died a lot of times and, and been reborn. I'm sure I would have matured as an artist in another way if I had remained in New York. Moving out to the desert 20 years ago, it began to seep into my consciousness. I always seem to come back to the desert, and it gives me comfort and solace. If I had one thing I wanted to share with the world, I guess it would be if things start falling apart, that it's OK, because we can put them back together in a new way, and that sometimes it's the best thing for us, for our growth, to let things fall apart and uh, allow the, the disintegration or the mutilation or the or the, or the disordering, and then we can put them together into a new reordering. And to me, that's what life is all about, not being afraid to risk and, and share that risk with other people we love and care about. <laughs>